Hello students, welcome to the lecture on marketing information system and marketing research. And after the lecture, we will be able to learn the following objectives. Explain the components of a marketing information system. Define the features of marketing information system. Understand the essential requisites of a good MIS. Discuss the distinguish between MIS and marketing research, MR. Explain the meaning and scope of marketing research. Describe the marketing research procedure. Explain the types and technique of marketing research. Let us start with an introduction to marketing information system and marketing research. The marketing information system, abbreviated as MIS, means to collect, analyze and supply marketing information to the marketing managers. The marketing managers use this information to take marketing decisions. The MIS is a permanent and continuous process. Marketing information includes all facts, estimates, opinions, guidelines, policies and other data. This information is necessary for taking marketing decisions. This information is collected from both internal and external sources. It is collected from customers, competitors, company salesmen, government sources, specialized agencies and so on. The MIS collects the marketing information from different sources. This information or data is analyzed. Then it is supplied to the marketing managers. The marketing managers use this information for taking marketing decisions. It also evaluates and stores the information. The MIS uses modern technology for collecting, analyzing, storing and supplying information. Market research is a systematic, objective collection and analysis of data about a particular target market, competition or environment. It always incorporates some form of data collection, whether it is secondary research, often referred to as desk research or primary market research, which is collected directly from a respondent. The purpose of any market research project is to achieve an increased understanding of the subject matter. With markets throughout the world becoming increasingly more competitive, market research is now on the agenda of many organizations, whether they are large or small. Market research is either quantitative, qualitative or combination of both qualitative and quantitative market research methods. Each provides different insights into a customer's behavior. Normally, research results are more useful when the two methods are combined. Now let's discuss the components of a marketing information system. The role of MIS is to identify or find out what sort of information is required by the marketing managers. It then collects and analyzes the information. It supplies this information to the marketing manager at the right time. MIS collects the information through its subsystems. These subsystems are called components. The four main components of the marketing information system MIS are internal records, marketing intelligence, marketing research MR and marketing decision support system. The basic components of MIS are depicted and explained as internal records. The first component of MIS is internal records. Marketing managers get lots of information from the internal records of the company. These records provide current information about sales, cost, inventories, cash flows and accounts receivable and payable. Many companies maintain their computerized internal records. Inside records help marketing managers to gain faster access to reliable information. Marketing Intelligence the second component of MIS is marketing intelligence. It collects information from external sources. It provides information about current marketing environment and changing conditions in the market. This information can be easily gathered from external sources like magazines, like trade journals, commercial, commercial press, so on. This information cannot be collected from the annual reports of the trade associations and the chambers of commerce, annual reports of companies, etc. The salesman's report also contains information about market trends. Marketing research. The third component of MIS is marketing research. The MR is conducted to solve specific marketing problems of the company. It collects data about the problem. This data is tabulated, analyzed and conclusions are drawn. Then the recommendations are given for solving the problem. Marketing research also provides information to the marketing managers. Marketing decision support system. The fourth component of MIS is marketing decision support system. These are the tools which help the marketing managers to analyze data and to take better marketing decisions. They include hardware, that is computer and software programs. Computer helps the marketing manager to analyze the marketing information. It also helps them to take better decisions. In fact, today marketing managers cannot work without computers. There are many software programs which help the marketing manager to do market segmentation, price fixing, and advertising budgets, etc. 
Let's now discuss the features of the marketing information system. The main characteristics or the features of marketing information system or MIS is continuous system. MIS is a permanent and a continuous system of collecting information. It collects information continuously. The basic objective. The basic objective of MIS is to provide the right information at the right time to the right people to help them take the right decisions. It's a computer-based system. MIS is a computer-based system. It uses computers for storing, analyzing and supplying information. It also uses microfilms for storing information. Therefore, it is very quick and accurate. Future-oriented. MIS is future-oriented. It provides information for solving future problems. It is not past-oriented. It is used by all levels. MIS is used by all three levels of management that is the top, middle and lower. It is used for making marketing plans, policies and strategies. This is used to solve marketing problems and to take advantage of business opportunities. Sources. MIS collects information from both internal and external sources. For example, information is collected from company records, publications, etc. Collect marketing information. The MIS collects all types of marketing information. It collects information about the consumer, competition, marketing environment, governmental policies, etc. It supplies this information to the marketing managers. It helps in decision making. The MIS supplies up to date and accurate information, which in turn helps the marketing managers to take quick and right decisions. We shall now talk about the essential requisites of a good MIS unified and centralized. The MIS must be unified and centralized. It collects and stores different types of market information. All of this information must be unified and centralized. Facilitate decision making. The MIS must facilitate decision making. Quick and accurate information. The MIS must provide quick and accurate information. Today, managers have to take quick decisions because the market is moving very fast. Economical. MIS must be economical. That is, it must not be very costly. The expenditure on it must be minimum. It must not exceed its value. It must give maximum benefits to the company at a very low cost. Selective. The MIS must be selective. That is, it must not collect all the market information. It must only collect the relevant information. Future oriented. The MIS must be forward looking. That is, future oriented. It must give more importance to future oriented information. It must provide information for solving problems which may come up in the future. The company will be successful if the marketing managers are future oriented. The marketing managers can be <coughs> so only if the MIS is also future oriented. Supply information regularly. The MIS must supply information regularly. The business environment is changing constantly, so the marketing managers have to take marketing decisions continuously. And therefore, they require a regular and continuous flow of market information. This information must be provided by the MIS, so it must supply information regularly to the marketing managers. Use new techniques. The MIS must use new techniques for collecting, analyzing, storing and supplying information. It must use computers and microfilms. Now, let's distinguish between MIS and Marketing Research MR. The difference between MIS versus MR is based on the following 10 points. The meaning. The MIS means to collect, analyze and supply relevant marketing information to the marketing managers. The marketing managers use this information for taking effective marketing decisions. It is a permanent and a continuous process. Marketing Research MR is a systematic process of collecting and analyzing information to solve a specific marketing problem. Purpose. The main purpose of MIS is to provide relevant information to marketing managers and enable them to make effective marketing decisions. However, the main purpose of MR, that is marketing research, is to solve a specific marketing problem. The scope. The scope of MIS is wide. Marketing research, MR, is one of its components. It is not only used to solve problems, but it also helps to prevent problems in the future. The scope of MR is narrow. It is one small part of MIS. It solves a specific present marketing problem. Nature. The MIS is a more non-specific or general in nature. It can solve many types of marketing problems, whereas marketing research MR is a more specific or a particular in nature. At one time, it can only solve a single type of marketing problem. Reports. The MIS gives four types of reports, namely planned reports, periodic reports, triggered reports, and demand reports. Marketing research MR provides only one report called as the MR report. Orientation. The orientation of MIS is more future-oriented when compared to MR. However, the orientation of marketing research, MR, is a more past and present one when compared to MIS. It concentrates more on the earlier and the latest information. It uses this information to solve a current marketing problem. 
problems the mis deals with deals with and attempts to solve many different marketing problems at one time for this it collects stores analyzes and supplies relevant market information to the marketing managers whereas the mr only deals with a single marketing problem at one time it does not solve multiple marketing problems simultaneously data in mis the data is collected more frequently usually almost daily this is a very this is a must for every company in marketing research mr the data is not collected as frequently as mis it is collected on a required basis the operation the mis is a permanent and continuous system here the inflow of market information never stops data is constantly collected and stored for further analysis it is properly analyzed studied and well organized before supplying it to the marketing managers MIS has a starting but no ending point. Computers. The MIS is heavily based on the use of computers. Here, computing technologies are widely used to ease and facilitate data collection, its storage, analysis, retrieval, and supply of relevant information to the marketing managers of the company. Marketing research is the function that links the consumer, customer, and public to the marketer through information. Information used to identify and define marketing opportunities and problems, generate, refine, and evaluate marketing actions, monitor marketing performance, and improve the understanding of marketing as a process. Marketing research specifies the information required to address these issues, designs the method for collecting information, it manages and implements the data collection process, it analyzes, and it communicates the findings and their implications. According to American Marketing Association AMA, marketing research is the systematic gathering, recording and analyzing of data about problems relating to the marketing of goods and services. According to Philip Kotler, marketing research is a systematic problem analysis, model building and fact finding for the purpose of improved decision making and control in the marketing of goods and services. Meaning, marketing research has two words, viz. marketing and research. Marketing means buying and selling activities. Research means a systematic and a complete study of a problem. It is done by experts. It uses scientific methods. Thus, we can say marketing research is a systematic method of collecting, recording and analyzing of data which is used to solve marketing problems. A company faces many marketing problems. It faces problems about consumers, its products, its market competition, sales, promotion, etc. Marketing research helps to solve these problems. Marketing research is a systematic process. It first collects the data, the information about the marketing problem. Secondly, it records this data. Then it analyzes or it studies this data and draws conclusions about it. After that, it gives suggestions, advice for solving the marketing problem. So, marketing research helps to solve the marketing problems quickly, correctly and systematically. Marketing research collects full information about consumers. It finds out the needs and the expectations of the consumers. So the company produces the goods according to the needs and expectations of the consumers. Marketing research helps the company to make its production and marketing policy policies. It helps the company to introduce new products in the market. It helps to identify new markets. Marketing research also collects full information about the competitors. The company uses this information to fight competition. It also helps the marketing manager to take decisions. Marketing research is a special branch and a soul of marketing management. It is of recent origin and widely used by manufacturers, exporters, distributors and service organizations. Marketing research is very systematic, scientific, objective and very organized. It has a wide scope. It includes products research, consumer research, packaging research and pricing research. Marketing research is a continuous process. It has a few limitations. However, a company cannot survive and succeed without it. The scope of marketing research. The scope of marketing research is very wide and comprehensive. It includes product research. Product means the goods and the services which are sold to the consumers. It includes consumer products and industrial products. Product research studies the individual product. It studies the making and the marketing of the product. It studies the color, size, shape, quality, packaging, brand name and price of the product. It also deals with product modification, product innovation, product life cycle. Consumer research. Consumer is the person who purchases the goods and services. The consumer is the king in the market. Consumer research studies consumer behavior. It studies the consumer's needs, wants, likes, dislikes, attitude, age, sex, income, location, buying motives, etc. This data is used to take decisions about the product, its price, place and promotion. Packaging research. Packaging research is part of the product research. It studies the package of the product. It improves the quality of the package. It makes the package more attractive. 
It makes the package more convenient for the consumers. It reduces the cost of packaging. It selects a suitable method for packaging. It also selects suitable packaging material. The pricing research. Pricing re research studies the pricing of the product. It selects a suitable method of pricing. It fixes the price for the product. It compares the company's price with the competitor's price. It also fixes the discount and commission which are given to middlemen. It studies the market price trends. It also studies the future price trends. Advertising research. Advertising research studies the advertising of the product. It fixes the advertising objectives. It also fixes the advertising budget. It decides about the advertising message, the layout, the copy slogan, headline, etc. It selects a suitable media for advertising. It also evaluates the effectiveness of advertising and other sale promotion techniques. The sales research. Sales research studies the selling activities of the company. It studies the sales outlets, the sales territories, territories, the sales forecasting, sales trends, sales methods, the effectiveness of the sales force, etc. Then the distribution research. The distribution research studies the channels of distribution. It selects a suitable channel for that product. It fixes the channel's objectives. It identifies the channel's functions like the storage, the grading, etc. It evaluates the competitor's channel. The policy research. Policy research studies the company's policies. It evaluates the effectiveness of the marketing policies, the sales, sales policies, the distribution policies, the pricing policies, inventory policies, etc. Necessary changes, if any, are made in these policies. International marketing research. International marketing research studies the foreign market. It collects data about consumers from foreign countries. It collects data about the economic and the political situation of different countries. It also collects data about the foreign competitors. This data is very useful for the exporters. The motivation research. The motivation research studies consumers buying motives. It studies those factors that motivate consumers to buy a product. Let me ask you this. How well do you know your target audience? How do you effectively sell to your target audience if you don't know your target audience? Market research. And that's our focus on this edition of Marketing Briefs. Market research is the process of gathering, recording, and analyzing data to ascertain the opportunities and threats to launch or relaunch a product or service, to measure consumer behavior and attitudes related to a product or service, and to benchmark the effectiveness of promotional programs. The goal of market research is to help an organization achieve their business objectives by providing fact-based analysis as to what consumers want and how much money they are willing to spend. It eliminates intuition and emotion from the decision-making process and reduces business risks. A market research project should always begin with defining the problem or opportunity to be studied. In addition, key objectives and goals for the study need to be outlined. The purpose and goals of the study guide the techniques used to gather data and influence the choice of information sources to consult for analyzing the data in relation to market trends. There are two methods for conducting market research, primary and secondary. Primary research is used when specific information is needed about the organization's products or services and client satisfaction. For example, what improvements would clients recommend for the organization's website? Secondary research is used to collect information from existing sources. For example, Forbes magazine ranks the best websites by industry categories. Selecting which technique or techniques to use depends on two factors. Number one, the amount of time available to conduct the research. And number two, the amount of money allocated for this purpose. Optimal results are obtained with a combination of primary and secondary data gathering 
but market researchers often just don't have the time or budget to do both. Primary research techniques gather data through surveys such as telephone, fax, postal mail, email, and websites, a focus groups by conducting one-on-one -on -one interviews or group discussions, test marketing, industry special interest groups, and client advisory panels. Now, often, professional research firms are used to ensure clients and prospects feel free to openly express their ideas and concerns. Primary research can also be conducted by using registration systems via the web, over the phone, on postage paid printed cards, or software monitoring tools. Now today, marketers also rely on CRM technology tools to collect data from visitors and to know which sections of the website are most visited and why. Secondary research resources are plentiful. The marketer is responsible for filtering these resources to obtain data that fulfills the study's purpose and objectives. These sources are available over the internet, at libraries, government agencies, professional organizations, and colleges and universities. In addition, competitor and supplier websites also yield useful information. In fact, today, suppliers publish well-researched and fact-filled white papers to demonstrate their expertise. Market researchers need to apply the same creativity to their research as the market communicators apply to the promotions they produce. Market research results provide the critical data to determine the market strategy. These results help determine the target audience and the opportunities for a product or service. This information becomes the foundation for the market strategy SWOT analysis. From the SWOT analysis, marketing can identify the most profitable target audience for the product or service, determine if their needs will be met, and create promotion plans. Benchmarking is another market research tool used to measure the effectiveness of marketing activities. Benchmarking includes monitoring and measuring client satisfaction or response to a marketing activity, sponsorship, gift promotions, price increases, website enhancement, and so on. By monitoring marketing activities, a marketer can determine whether changes will enhance client satisfaction or whether new product trends are emerging to pursue proactively. The 11 stages or the steps in a marketing research process are the problem identification. The first step in a marketing research process is to identify the problem or the opportunity. The problem may be about decrease in sales, increase in competition, the expansion of the market, etc. The problem definition. The second step in a marketing research process is to define the problem. In this stage, the researcher must understand the problem correctly. It must find out the scope of the problem, the type of the information needed, etc. If the problem is not defined properly, then it will result in waste of time, money and resources. The research design. The third step in a marketing research process is to prepare the research design. Research design is a plan for conducting a research. It guides the researcher in data collection. It gives proper direction to the research. There are three types of research designs. Exploratory research, descriptive research, and experimental research. Determining data needs. The fourth step in a marketing research process is to determine the data needs. The researcher must consider the following issues. whether to use the primary data or secondary data or both, the accuracy and the reliability of the data, the availability of accurate and reliable data, the cost and time required to collect the data, determining data sources. The fifth step in the marketing research process is to determine the data sources. 
The researcher decides the sources of collecting data. The two main sources are secondary data and primary data. The researcher first collects secondary data that is because it is easily available and it is less costly. It is collected by desk research. Sampling design. The sixth step in a marketing research is the process of sampling the design. The researchers have limited time and other resources, so he cannot contact the total population. That is, it cannot collect information from all the people in the market. Designing questionnaire. The seventh step in a marketing research process is of designing a questionnaire. In this stage, primary data is collected with the help of a questionnaire. So the researcher has to prepare a questionnaire. A questionnaire is a list of questions. These questions are asked to the respondents for collecting data. Field staff selection. The eighth step in a marketing research process is of selecting field staff. After preparing the questionnaire, the researcher selects field interviewers. The field interviewers collect information from the respondents. They must be properly trained. Students of psychology and statistics are good for this job. Collection and processing of data. The ninth step in a marketing research process is of collection and processing of data. In this stage, the data is collected from the respondents. The questionnaire is used for collecting data. Project reporting. The eleventh step in a marketing research process is to prepare a project report. In this stage, the researcher prepares the final research report. Follow-up. Finally, the last step in the marketing research process is to do a follow-up. In this stage, the marketing executive makes the changes in the product, price, marketing policies, etc. as per the recommendations of the report. Here, the researcher should find out whether his recommendations are implemented properly or not. He should also figure out whether the marketing problem is solved or not. Now in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. Marketing Information System, abbreviated as MIS, means to collect, analyze and supply marketing information to the marketing managers. Marketing research also provides information to the marketing managers. However, this information is specific information. Marketing research is a function that links the consumer, customer and public to the marketeer through information, information used to identify and define marketing opportunities. Consumer is the person who purchases the goods and services. The consumer is the king in the market. Sampling helps to save time, efforts and cost. It is used to collect primary data. The researcher has to decide about method of sampling, the size of sample, etc.